Why is it that you think NVIDIA would be able to sell them increasingly on the whole system when customers are looking for more variety? Because they're the best. I mean, that's, that's really what it comes down to. We can talk about all this, but there really hasn't ever been a single successful accelerator startup company. Um, name one like that that has any kind of volume um and then the custom silicon chips themselves are worse on a per, uh, performance per power tco basis total cost of ownership we think nvidia is going to continue to dominate the market now i don't think we expect their level of market share dominance to continue for that same reason that you talked about i don't think anyone is really interested in having one player have 95 percent of the market now that's where the custom silicon projects that most of the other hyperscalers are adopting or using or already have will come into the equation. But in the long run, I wouldn't be surprised to see the market share of the industry look something like 70-30. That's mm. oftentimes how market shares and uh, kind of like end up. Think about the AMD versus Intel CPU of old or even some of the transceiver markets today. Oftentimes you have one extremely dominant leader that has the best performance and then you have a second source that is often not as performant but cheaper. That's how I view the ASIC and I uh, the ASIC programs, and I think that that's probably where it ends up. Now, to be clear, um, ninety five percent to seventy percent is a big gap, but I do expect Nvidia to be the the like uh, the leader for as far as we can see.